Fitz has asked for interview time, and reluctantly we have to uh, have to oblige. They are, after all, the USWA World Tag Team Champions, and they they signed on the line right here a few days ago with Burt Prentice. Oh, shut up! Who does Jerry Lawler think he is that he's going to come out and tell me what's going to happen to me Monday night in scummy little Memphis? One of these illiterate cameramen, put your camera on this crowd. Do you think, do you think for one minute that I'm going to lower myself to let anybody show the crowd? Look at these people. They've not bathed in 17 days. They're not going to touch me. They're not going to wrap me in nothing. Eddie Marlin, you're getting a call from my attorney as soon as this show's over. It's a sad day when the king of wrestling and that fat little punk, Coco Beware, talk about me being overweight. Coco Beware has gained 300 pounds in the last seven weeks. You gotta come out here, it's a sad day. You're gonna cry and make excuses when you've been beat by the greatest team in professional wrestling. Simply divine, simply embarrassed you last Monday night. And now you wanna come back you shouldn't even have a rematch, and you're scared of me. You better be scared. You better be afraid of these gorgeous body standing here. Remember, Houdini has nothing on me. Doll man, tell them how it is. They're scared. And it's like this right here. There ain't no way that you're letting these slimy fans lay a hand on our manager. But let me tell you something, Jerry Lawler, and let me tell you something, Coco Beware. He showed other people that you're nothing but a couple of preliminary bums. Now, I don't know what kind of strings you pulled, and I don't know how you got on that side, but the outcome is going to be a little different because we're not going to pin your shoulders this time. This time, we're going to make you quit. Right there, in front of all your idiot fans, we're going to show you who is the real trash of Memphis. Well, that's you, you pretty much heard it. All I've got to say is, Lawler, Coco, beware when you're the greatest team in the sport of professional wrestling today. They don't just call you another great tag team. What do they call you, Rexy? They call you Simply Divine. Because they are Simply Divine. Go destroy these punks. We got a list of Lawler and Warren here. Climbing into the ring right now. Simply Divine, Rex King, Steve Dahl, their manager. Bert Prentice. They're going to be going against Sam Norris and Chris Holliday in a match here today. What do you want, Prentice? You know, Dave Brown, I wonder if Corey Macklin knows that the USWA is looking for a replacement for him. Prentice, it would have been nice if you hadn't showed up again in the USWA and yeah. signed his tag team. It was much nicer when Bert Prentice wasn't around. <laughs> As always. Steve Dahl of Simply Divine picks up Sam Norris. Oh, gives Norris a backbreaker in there. Oh, I wish there was some kind of way we could replace Burt Prentice. Simply Divine, a heavy, heavy favorite in this match. Non-title match, of course. A couple of young guys and Sam Norris and Chris Holliday. Why would they want to wrestle uh, the world champion? Well, of course, if they can get a victory or even look very good against this team, it'll help them out. Not only is it an education, although a very tough one, it uh, it would uh, move them on up in the rankings as they as they try to head toward championship caliber matches on a regular basis. Yeah, that's indeed. Uh, Chris Holiday steps in there with the likes of Rex King. Good drop kick from King takes him down. Oh, it's not Jerry Lawler. Yeah, Prentice uh, using that uh, substitution, mental substitution there, is a uh, is quite wrong. That is no comparison with Jerry Lawler or Jeff Jarrett or Coco Ware or anybody else. Big form from Rex King takes Sam Norris down. Tag Steve Dahl. Dahl comes in and boy, nail Sam Norris with a right hand in there. Mr. Norris having a rough, rough day here. Steve Dahl with a big slam. Look out off the rope. Big knee from Steve Dahl. Chops it down on Norris. Takes him and throws him out onto the floor. Didn't even attempt to pin. He might have been able to get a three count there, but he didn't even try. They've thrown uh, they've thrown Chris Holiday out on the floor on the other side, too. 
And Bert Print is out with this insult, slapping Sam Norris over here. Norris back in the ring, and uh, Steve Dahl telling him, hey, come on and fight back. Now, Norris uh, kind of gave it half of an effort there, and I'm not sure that wasn't uh, a mistake to, uh, to even try that. Boy, Steve Dahl just looking for an excuse, trying to give himself an excuse to beat up on Chris Norris. Or Sam Norris, I beg your pardon. Rex King climbs up on the second ropes. Oh, boy. Big drop kick. King comes off of that. Some kind of heavy move from Rex King. Dahl was holding Norris up, and King came down with a big drop kick. Boy, he came flying off of that. On Sam Norris. Slams down on Norris with a right hand. Picks him up. Slams him down hard. King comes off the rope, drops a leg on him, goes for the pin. He good has had him there, only gets a two, picks him up. Insulting Sam Norris, now that's what Rick King is doing, had him pinned. Oh, boy, reverse neck breaker on Norris. Takes Sam down, and Rex King and Steve Dahl put the boot to the neck. Well, I bet you won't have to wait long to get a match with Jerry Lawler and Coco Ware, or the King's going to be looking for you somewhere down the pike. I guarantee you that, Bert Prentice. And not only that, he doesn't have to beg for one either because yeah, the King and the right. Birdman are looking for him. Look at that. Two and Dahl picks him up. Yep. Refusing to go for the count of three. Good right to the face of Sam Nars. And Steve Dahl slams him over to his corner, grabs Chris Holiday, flips Holiday over the top ropes, sets him up and drop kicks Chris down. Well, that standing drop kick, he just picks those feet straight up off the floor, off the mat, and just knocks his opponent down all the way across the ring. Simply divine, come down on Chris Holiday, slams him right into the mat face first, and rakes King. Picks him up. Oh, look at this. Tag in and out from Simply Divine. Could have had them out one about two minutes ago, this King and Dahl. Dahl is setting up Chris Holiday. Rex King comes off on top of him. Boy, he rolls Holiday up. One, two, three. And Rex King and Steve Dahl, Simply Divine, get the win. Mercifully, they finally went for a pin, but it looks like they're not through yet. They continue. The pound on uh, Norris and uh, and Chris Holiday. After the bell has sounded, the match yeah. is over. Simply Divine has won the match. Prentice, Prentice, it's all over. This is this is. Uh, if you're trying to impress us with this display, you're not doing it. You're impressing us in much the wrong way. Boy, they continue to jump on Sam Norris and Chris Holiday. Simply Divine, King and Dahl. Oh, boy. Bert Prentice, happy as he can be, he has the world tag titles on his arm. He is just allowing the uh, the team of Rex King and Steve Dahl to continue to beat up on ah. these two young guys. Hey, Coco Ware yeah, came in with a Coco. rope. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's got Steve Dahl, the king in the ring. Yeah, Coco Ware had a rope around Dahl's neck. He went up to Prentice, and Prentice was running on a 200-yard dash getting out of here, too. Now, I tell you, they wasted no time when Coco and the King showed oh, up. Oh, he went out. He was Bro, Prentice Coco. left early. He took the belts under his hand. I know, Coco. Prentice took the belt, and he headed right on out of here. Coco and, and Lawler came in looking for him, but couldn't find him. Well, we'll see if we can find him. We'll be back in just a moment.